Good morning and welcome to Cab Notes for August 2015. And this morning we're going to be talking about Hour for Hour Community, the time bank that uh, Rosemary Pelletier here has mostly gotten started years ago. We'll let her talk about this, but we have a flag here because it's a, a national day of national significance because we're normalizing relationships with Cuba and uh, we are all happy about that. So. Uh, I'll let each person introduce themselves, and I'll start with Rosemary, and you can tell us who you are and go down the road and dig in. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm Rosemary Pelletier, and uh, I got involved in time exchange a number of years ago, but mm -hmm. uh, I've taught here in the community and um, just have a real appreciation of the quality of people who live in this community and uh. their investment in the community. And so when I heard about the idea of a time exchange, I wanted to do something locally with it. Mm -hmm. And a few years ago when the Vermont Rural Development started, um, that was a perfect opportunity uh -huh. to introduce the idea. So mm -hmm. I've been working with that, not alone by any means. We, uh, mm -hmm. There were four core people at the beginning. Um, mm -hmm. And we can talk about that in a few minutes. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. right now this tends to be one of the handful of focuses I've, I've been working with at, since I retired from teaching. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good. My name is Michael Washington, and I'm a full-time student at Springfield College, and I volunteer at various organizations. Mm -hmm. And actually, I was introduced to the Time Bank um, by Rosemary. Um, and I was a student at CCV, and she came and did a presentation, and I was immediately enthralled by the concept of helping mm -hmm. people and um, using time as the credit, as the payment. So I joined in October, I think 2013. Mm -hmm. And I've been a member ever since. I was on the board for a little while, but my schedule um, kind of forced me to drop off the board because I was just too busy and I couldn't do that part. But I'm still a member and I'm very grateful to be a member. And we'll talk more about why I'm grateful about it. Great, thanks. So good morning. Uh, my name is Chris Bongartz, and I'm the director of the local office of um, public health here. That uh, we cover all of the work that's done in this district, mm -hmm. and I am uh, happy to be part of this group to talk about something that I'm pretty passionate about, and uh, and mm -hmm. as it relates to building healthy communities. Mm -hmm. Great. So you can and tell us about the nuts and bolts. <laughs> okay, yeah, for the, for the people who don't, uh, aren't familiar with the uh, exchange, uh, it's a very simple concept, although it sort of goes, it's, n it's not intuitive uh, to, mm -hmm. in our culture. Uh, mm -hmm. But the idea is that it's, it's a membership group, people come together, mm -hmm. and uh, they provide a list of services they're willing to do for each other. So for example, yeah. you came over to my house one time right. and helped put on a roof to, to my shed. Mm -hmm. um, that's a skill you have that you were willing to do. Um, people put in their services and then they can also make requests of services. But the thing that's really, um, I think, special about this organization is that every person is treated equally. Every skill is honored equally. So mm -hmm. that um, our currency is actually hours of time. Uh -huh. right. So 24 hours in a day, everybody has that. So an hour of your time is worth an hour of my time. Um, and in the process, as we exchange skills, we build community, we make connections. And so, um, you know, I'll, uh, maybe I'll have uh, Michael talk about an exchange just to give an, a sense of what, what it means. Mm -hmm. um, but the other thing that's unique about it is that in a bartering system, you would have to negotiate the value first of all, and then uh -huh. it's between two parties. You would have to find something, like when you did my roof, I would then have to find something you needed that I could do. Uh -huh. Here, you do something for any member of the organization, you earn a time credit, uh, one credit for every hour of service you render, mm -hmm. and then you can ask anybody in the group to do something for you. So it's not a one-to-one -one exchange. Uh -huh. It's it's right. between the whole group, and I think that's the thing that makes this um, extremely powerful mm -hmm. also. Yeah, much more yeah. flexible. Yeah, what are the interesting things? Well, for instance, I have, um, if I have a project that I need help on, one of the main things that's important to talk about first is how I can put out a request for help or put out mm -hmm. a offer to help others, and that's through mm -hmm. the website, which I'm sure Rosemary will get into a little bit later. 
Um, but you can get on our site and you have a profile that's set up mm -hmm. and you put um, down the different offers that you think you're capable of offering to people mm -hmm. as well as any requests you have. Um, and that sits in a that sits on the site, and then people um, the requests go out, and people can answer to you, answer the request on online, and then numbers are, ex are exchanged, and then after the initial um, meeting, after the initial exchange of information, then everything can be done through a phone call and you know face to face. Mm -hmm. um, and so one of the things that um, I've been talking about is um, I have a bathroom project that I have in my home. Mm -hmm. And um, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and so uh, it was a perfect, you know, and, and money's limited. Yep. yep. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously it's going to be some cost, but there were um, people who were on the exchange who have listed certain things that they're capable of doing, like carpentry and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I put the request in for help and a short description of what I would need help with and mm -hmm. um, wait for responses. And mm -hmm. I had immediate responses from uh, a few members, and one mm -hmm. member uh, um, I called, and um, that's Jerry. And I just want to thank Jerry again for his help, his continued help. <coughs> Excuse me. And so he came over. We set up a time and date. He came over, and, and basically my request was to get advice on initially how to take up the floor and do certain things to get started on the project. Mm -hmm. And um, he has a lot of knowledge in that area, so he came over and, and he did a sort of like a analysis of the problem and see what I needed to do. And um, we spent that first one was just for an hour. Mm -hmm. And so after the exchange is made, after that is done, then um, shortly thereafter I'll go back on the site and post that you know it was done and mm -hmm. put down the hour or whatever amount of time that Jerry spent with me and based on the credit that I've accumulated with exchanges that I've done mm -hmm. um, that gets deducted out of my time bank so I spent an hour for Jerry's um, expertise on and helping me and he gains an hour credit it goes into his bank and so that's how basically how it works you know an overview of how it would work and we've continued on with it um you know because it's an ongoing project so it's really good now the other side of that real quick is what can i do to help the community what can i do to help my neighbors mm -hmm. um and some of the things that i can do um you know i like i very good with computers um and i also you know i have a car i can drive people to the store um you know, I can shovel snow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I put down a lot of different things in my profile that I can also also offer. Uh -huh. And um, people can look and see, you know, what, what I can do too. So, and one of the things, and I'll, I'll, I know other people can, can talk about this, Chris and Rosemary can talk about it, but a lot of times people are hesitant because, and I was too, and because I said, what can I do, you know, to help somebody? What would, mm -hmm. you know? And one of the things I found is that, um, you know, we don't realize how much we can offer um, uh -huh. to our neighbor. It doesn't have to be real complicated stuff that requires a PhD. <laughs> you know, we're mm -hmm. talking about um, little, you know, basic daily things that people may need some assistance with. When, in transportation, which is, you know, sort of an issue here in, in, in Vermont and in Bennington, mm -hmm. you know, people um, who may not drive or don't have access to transportation could really use um, an hour or two of my time to drive into the store or to the airport or things like that. So, you know, this mm -hmm. is how it works, you know, and mm -hmm. there's no pressure um, in any way with this. So it's really a comfortable situation. And the best thing about it that I like is the building of relationships. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I've mm -hmm. met so many people through just being on the exchange and, and being involved. Mm -hmm. And I was just going to follow up on some of the comments that mm -hmm. um, Michael and Rosemary had made, and I, I just want to echo when um, Vermont Council on Rural Development did come down to Bennington to do their visioning work, oh, yeah. and out of that whole process, um, the, you know, the time bank had an opportunity to be planted in terms of really um, cultivating some community in our in, our, um, in mm -hmm. Bennington. And what struck me about that night when uh, we met as a group, somebody said, we all have a gift to offer. 
And this sort of forces us to really think about, you know, some of us initially will say, oh, I, you know, <laughs> I don't do anything with computers yeah. or, but that each one of us innately has a gift that we can offer and mm -hmm. what better way to be able to do that than to foster those relationships, to have that be the glue that builds a community and mm -hmm. makes it stronger right. and healthier, um, one exchange at a time. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's a real uh, strong uh, impetus for me to continue to want to work on developing and growing uh, what what I think is just a, a fabulous um, you know level the playing f field opportunity yeah. for people in our community when every everybody's hour is equal. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty yeah. potent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It really is very democratic in that pr in that I idea, mm -hmm. and it's, um, you know, it's it's a real way for expanding our circle of acquaintances and relationships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so often we we are gravitate toward people of like mind or or like educational levels or whatever, exactly. and one of the purposes here is to sort of bridge those things that tend to be natural divides mm -hmm. in a community. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it has a, a tremendous ripple effect. I mean, we've, we have, um, I think it's 119 members now. Really? We have, we've done over a thousand hours of exchanges between people and you mm -hmm. think those are individual connections. Those are one person mm -hmm. meeting another person as a person, mm -hmm. you know, trusting them, yep. you know, because it really is built upon trust, yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, and yet we don't lose any control. We have, you know, every member gets to. There's no pressure. It's not like okay, mm -hmm. you have to do four exchanges a month, or you have to do so many a year, or you you can sit back for a while mm -hmm. and then get involved and then pull back again. You mm -hmm. can offer your professional skills. Um, what you normally charge for and, mm. and put a limit, you know, like mm. um, an accountant could say, you know, I'm willing to do five hours a month of accounting through the exchange, mm -hmm. you know, uh, assistance, um, but you don't have to, you know, you might do something that is com just hobbies that you have. Mm -hmm. um, and so it allows people to feel good about giving, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, as well as receiving mm -hmm. um, and, you know, some most of us are better givers yeah and not receivers and mm -hmm. others are better receivers and not givers but it sort of pulls the two together and yeah. and makes us because it's reciprocity you can't mm -hmm. you can't just receive you know you got to mm -hmm. keep your your account yeah. fairly balanced um mm -hmm. but it does it it brings I, I there are so many people i've met that i would not have met through this exchange and two right. of them are right here, <laughs> yeah. right now, you know. Yeah. And uh, uh -huh. so I, I just think it's a, a powerful thing for building community, and it's also a powerful tool for um, meeting the needs of people. You know, Michael mentioned, mm. you know, mm. maybe you don't have the money, you know, to do right. things. You're, you know, he's still paying the cost of materials, but labor costs are, are a big piece of, you know, the cost mm. of any kind of a, a project. So it helps people get things done that they couldn't do necessarily otherwise. Yeah. Um, and some of the things are real simple. Um, you know, there's, uh, as you get older, you can't lift as much, mm -hmm. you know, so sometimes, you know, just lifting bags of salt for your water softener becomes a challenge if you live alone yeah. and you're, you're, you're not getting older or, mm -hmm. or you have an injury maybe mm -hmm. you know it's temporary yeah. uh, so you can pick up the phone and, and call somebody on the list who has said they're willing to do these kinds of things and so mm -hmm. it has the potential to allow people to stay in their home who are members longer than they might be able uh -huh. to otherwise so I think mm -hmm. it has a you know health wise it has a, a real ripple effect or a real uh, potential mm -hmm. for having a you know if, as it grows of having a real impact in the community mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> yeah, I was impressed with the, <clears throat> I'm not a very good member because I haven't gone to as many of these uh, picnics as right. it were yeah. that they have, but the ones I've gone to, it was really fascinating to mm -hmm. meet people I've never known before. Right. And uh, I, I noticed today that you have on the internet right. the uh, 
announcement for the what day is that? It, the annual meeting, our next annual, annual meeting yeah. is uh, September 14th uh -huh. uh, at the Second Congregational Church. Right. And with these gatherings, we always have food. So we have a potluck first, yeah. and then we'll have the business meeting. Um, it's a membership organization, so it's run by the members. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be electing new board members. Uh, we mm -hmm. have some vacancies. Um, and the board, the members will be asked to consider, you know, uh, changes they want to see in the organization or, you know, those, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but we always have fun. It's a great group of people, like yeah. you said. And, and it really is, you know, as it grows, there's <laughs> a greater cross-section of people. And mm -hmm. so the conversations around the table are interesting. And I think the, the biggest uh, proof that it, um, it works is that many of the people who started out making exchanges Mm -hmm. Okay, connected with each other, and now they don't even use the exchange uh -huh. to to do things uh, together. So, um, I, I mean, I know personally, like I started out, you know, doing grocery shopping for a member who was housebound, mm -hmm. um, and you know, I probably did that three times <coughs> through the exchange, and mm -hmm. now we've become friends, and now I just call her up when I'm going to the grocery store and say, you know, write up your list and I'll swing by and pick it up. And we don't, it's not an exchange anymore. We're not, uh -huh. you know, recording it in the hours and things like that. Hmm. We're just doing it because we're friends. And then when I bring the stuff over, we can chat. And, um, and there's a lot of that that happens, you know, uh, yeah. a lot of that um, hmm. deals with pets. You know, oh, you yeah. start, you call on the the service to f to find somebody who's willing to walk your pet when you know maybe you're injured or you're uh, going to be out of town or whatever mm -hmm. and uh, after a while you know there's this relationship and you don't even think about the exchange <laughs> you just you know walk your dogs together yeah. or do whatever but you're you're that continued <coughs> building of community mm -hmm. you that, know it's uh, interesting you know, Rose, when you mentioned that because one of the things that m um, people who are listening might want to know is when that when that relationship grows outside of the exchange mm -hmm. like that, um, is there an option to still um, use the exchange to to you to get credits? Yes. So it's interesting because if if I'm coming and doing things for you, mm -hmm. or you're doing things for me, and now we're not using the, the site anymore, uh -huh. but do we have the option to go back and use it so that we can build time credit? Yes. Okay. Oh, definitely. The exchanges. Uh -huh. The key with the exchanges are that they're mutually agreed upon. Uh -huh. um, so for example, um, we have people in the organization who do body work. Yeah. Um, there are, um, we, I, can, I can call on somebody to do it through the organization mm -hmm. and we swap hours or I might pay for that massage. So I have, a, I have a setup now where I started with somebody who's in the exchange and now every other one I do through the time exchange, and the other one I pay for. That's great. And uh, hmm. so, it, but you know, it would not. You know, she could say, you know, I I just want to give you, a, you know, a massage, and I'm not going to charge at all. Right. Right. Uh, either way, through the exchange, she would have that option. Um, it's very hmm. flexible. Hmm. I, you can also, once you've earned credits, you don't have to spend them on a member. So, for example. Oh. Um, I could ask you, mm -hmm. through using your carpenter skills, to mm -hmm. do something for a friend of mine, let's say, who, who needs a, you know, a step repaired or something oh, at yeah. their house. They're not a member, okay? Huh. But I contact you and I say, I'm going to give you my time, my, my time credits uh -huh. for you to do that job for her. Wow. And mm. so you get the credits. Yeah. I, I've gifted them. To this other person mm -hmm. wow. and so mm -hmm. um, you know that's another option because once you've yeah. earned the time credit it's yours to, it's spend, yours to spend as you please huh. uh, we just don't want you hoarding them <laughs> 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 because you know mm -hmm. the the key is is not what your account looks like how much time credits you've built up or how much debt you have the mm -hmm. the thing is that you're connecting with people yeah, so if you're just right. sort of hoarding your credits and not asking for anything it's it's not as effective as if you were exchanging mm. which is right. counterintuitive because uh -huh. yeah. you know we've been told to you know to save <laughs> so, and yeah. to collect mm -hmm. and this is an opportunity to 
go against that mm -hmm. culture mm -hmm. to you know to to spend freely mm -hmm. um, which again is another yeah. it's a nice yeah. message to be giving mm -hmm. I know that you're the mathematician in the group uh -huh. and you had talked about when you were we were looking at some data you were talking about how um, members time that's actually spent doing something has actually grown yes um, that the exchanges are for longer periods of time mm -hmm. um, which I think wow. is is part of the growth of the organization mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. which you need to do when you're you know reaching out to, to build this mm -hmm. um, so I thought that was an interesting piece right. of information yeah. and mm -hmm. and I think that you know this is uh, anecdotal uh, but I think that has happened because of the the trust. You you do a, a small exchange with right. somebody. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. would you? Um, we'll use the pet sitting. Will you come over and at noon and let my dog out? Mm -hmm. And that works out real nice. And that person, you feel safe with that person or whatever. And so mm -hmm. the next, you know, the the next time it might be, you know, will you house sit for right. me over the weekend while I'm gone? You know, and now there's this real trust relationship, you know, so, okay, the next time it might be, you know, I'm going to be away for an extended period of time, will you house sit? You know, that, yeah. that house sitting would not have happened as the first exchange. Yeah. So I think as the, as the organization mm -hmm. matures and people become more confident with each other, that um, there's uh, lengthier exchanges happening. Mm -hmm. you know your project mm -hmm. with Jerry you know if if it hadn't gone well that first hour that you just consulted mm -hmm. you know he wouldn't be in there working side by side with you and showing you how to do these things that's right um, right you know. and he doesn't know that um, I'm gonna be calling him back for the kitchen <laughs> 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 Jerry uh, if you're out there if you're out there uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, yeah but that's it that's what it is and you know what mm -hmm. we've also just exchanged emails to say hi yeah how yeah. you doing? How's mm -hmm. it going? Oh, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. and he checks back with me and see how's it going and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's just that relationship mm -hmm. thing that I really cherish. And another thing that's really interesting um, about this is, you know, um, in, in speaking, you notice that Rosemary and Chris are talking about different types of exchanges. It's not just geared towards household things, mm -hmm. or shoveling or labor. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of, uh, on the site, there are a lot of different choices for, for a person mm -hmm. to look down you know with gardening and things like that but there's mm -hmm. also for people who might be hesitant in the beginning to exchange with people who I guess maybe might be strangers to them there's also an opportunity to gain credits initially and that's in fact I think that's what happened with me when I first joined I think I was really working more with Rosemary mm -hmm. and doing certain things for the exchange for the actual organization mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we we go we we show up at a lot of places. You know, at the farmers market and things like that. That we need help with setting up things or whatever. And mm -hmm. um, you know, Rosemary would ask me if I would want to you know help out through the org you know help the organization out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that helped me to gain confidence in the fact that people, you know, um, wanted to you know be around me and ask me for help. But I also mm -hmm. built relationships with you know people in the organization mm -hmm. that way. Because if I'm standing at a table at the farmer's market, I'm meeting people who are coming up to the table, and now I'm talking about this organization, and now I'm feeling more like a part of it. Mm -hmm. So people can, don't, can, can contribute um, initially if they want to. They can offer to help in other ways that aren't necessarily directly related to going to someone's mm -hmm. house or driving a complete stranger to Price Chopper or, you know, <laughs> right away. But again, you have an opportunity to talk to a person on the phone after after they respond to your request, um, then you know you can. Ex the, our emails are on the site. You can email a person and say, "Here's my mm -hmm. number. Can you call me? Let's talk further." So it's not like you're just mm -hmm. meeting someone for the first time and don't have any idea who they mm -hmm. are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm thinking um, of one of the members who's had um, a very uh, professional past, and uh, one of the things that he's done has. Um, He's gone through culinary school, oh. and so uh, on occasion, well, actually, a, a lot during the winter, he was putting together quarts of homemade soup. Oh. Um, this time of year, um, he has packaged basil, tomatoes, um, 
olive oil and sea salt, but the basil and tomatoes came from his garden and he'll put that together as a package and nothing nicer than mm -hmm. to get a beautiful Vermont tomato mm -hmm. um, through the time exchange. You know, it's like mm -hmm. I've got half my dinner ready. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so, you know, mm -hmm. those are some uh -huh. of, the, there's the raking and the mm -hmm. stacking right. wood, um, yeah. but there's all, you know, it's, it's the sky's the limit right. yeah. in terms mm -hmm. of of all the different creative opportunities that can happen um, mm -hmm. within the organization. And, and some yeah. of it is, you know, uh, assistance, like we have somebody who would uh, help people who are, you know, prepare uh, the sort of the documents that we should do legally, you know, at, you know, mm. at, at our age, mm -hmm. or have, should oh, yeah, have done okay. it before then. Right, right, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's, to have somebody sit w down with you and, and just sort of talk you through these things is real helpful. Mm -hmm. And it's not, um, you know, if you went to a financial planner or something, that would be very expensive. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's somebody who's been through it, has the expertise, and, you know, have, it offers that. So, yeah, yeah there's a, a, a real wide range. And, uh, you know, going along with getting comfortable uh, and you mentioned, you know, raking and fire, uh, stacking firewood. Um, the other opportunity is to do these little work groups, you know, to oh. sort of invite, um, you know, uh, we had one last year where we, uh, uh, somebody put out, you know, we're gonna, we have five pallets of pellets being delivered. Uh -huh. You know, at this time, any members who wanna come and help undo them, you mm -hmm. know, and, and move them from the pallets into the basement, and uh, we had a handful of people come, you know, you're talking the whole time, mm -hmm. and we made this production line of just passing them from one to the other down oh, the basement wow. steps, cool. and in a half hour, five pallets had been moved, wow. <laughs> and, uh, and we had a good time, and it was intergenerational, oh. which was nice. Yeah. You, know, mm -hmm. um, you know, raking parties are the same kind of thing. You, you know, yeah, sure, you can rake your own yard, but <laughs> why do it alone? Why not? <laughs> The four of us get together and, you know, rake together and then move to the next house and rake <laughs> together. It's more fun that way. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. I don't know if, um, if there's an opportunity to talk about the, the newsletter. Uh, sure. We, um, mm -hmm. well, let me, let me talk first because we're, we're talking about membership mm -hmm. and the, the people in the audience who are members, they understand how, to, how they've joined already. Yeah, right. So to join the organization, um, and, and find out who's in and, and what's being offered, you have to become a member, mm -hmm. okay? And the way to do that is if you see um, a pamphlet like this um, around on the back of it, and you see it on the screen now, is the contact information. Uh, if you call that number, you'll, you'll get me. Um, you may get, you have to leave a message because uh, I don't have it with me all the time. Um, but if you go to the web, there's directions on the back that say how to go to the website and mm -hmm. to simply request um, to become a member. Mm -hmm. And what that first step is you fill out a form that says your name, some references, contact information, and mm -hmm. then I get back to you with when we have an orientation. So after you've said uh -huh. that, um, the orientation, we would sit down, that usually takes about an hour, mm -hmm. um, we schedule them on the second Saturday of every month mm. Uh, mm. at the um, Unitarian Universalist Church. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also do one-on-ones, and I'll do them oh. for groups also. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, you know, like the Rotary Group, the, the Lions, yeah. those kinds of groups. Uh, I'll do presentations to, to any group, or if people want to uh, join and want to do a orientation at their house for some of their friends, they can do that, and because they're serving the organization and doing that, mm -hmm. they would get the orientation and so would their, their friends. Um, mm -hmm. They get, the, the exchange gives them time credits for the time uh -huh. that they opened up their house for this meeting. Um, hmm. So that initial contact happens, and then once the orientation happens, you're taught how to use the software. Uh -huh. Okay, and once you have the software, now you've got free reign over the site, so you can see who's a member, you can see what they offer, you have uh, the ability to contact them, um, mm -hmm. and, and then it's, you know, like I said, 
you completely decide what you want to what you're willing to put out there yeah um and also what you're uh if, what if you're, there's something in particular you're interested in having done right then and there yeah. and it for some it's not just what you need done for mm -hmm. some people it can be a matter of uh you know a splurge or spoiling yourself yeah you know oh, you yeah. mm -hmm. you uh you could do this particular job you know but mm -hmm. why <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you know uh maybe you you know you wouldn't normally splurge on a, a foot reflexology or something but n now yeah. you're not paying you know 40 50 70 dollars for this you might mm -hmm. say well let me Rosalind, give it a try you know, once, um i would like to hear that story about the um because <coughs> you know this is the time exchange concept is is a, around other places too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was a great story you told about uh, the in Portland, about the, the the man with the yacht with the sailboat, yeah, and he offered, um, a t I think he offered uh, to go, to take people out on to teach them how to sail. Huh. Yeah, and um, wow. so it's not always about work. It's no. not. It's about <laughs> pleasure. Uh -huh. Yeah, you yeah. Know, the certain things that you mm -hmm. know because I don't uh -huh. think about going out on a sailboat in my daily life. But yeah. you know, being a member at Exchange mm -hmm. and. I haven't seen that offer on our exchange yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Yeah, but um, you know, it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, the, the Portland, Maine, uh -huh. this was, and uh -huh. so you know, near the water, and he has a sailboat, and this mm -hmm. is what he offered as a, uh -huh. you know, as an as an exchange, so mm -hmm. to give someone that experience, you mm -hmm. know. Um, mm -hmm. So it's really di so diverse, you know, uh, what mm -hmm. the things that people can offer. Right. Hmm. You know, yeah. and yeah. and we do have, you know, like. You probably, if you put out a request on the on the site, we don't have anybody offering it now, mm -hmm. but said, you know, uh, I'd like to borrow two kayaks for an afternoon. You probably would have people in the exchange say, oh, oh yeah, well, you yeah. can you can do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can borrow equipment too, mm -hmm. and we do have, um, you know, sort of the idea that there are certain things you use every once in a while. Why does everybody have to have their own? Uh -huh. So we've got. Um, you know, ladders, different size ladders mm -hmm. on the exchange that people can borrow. Um, and in that kind of a thing, what it is is the person who's lending it says what the time credits are for mm -hmm. it. So it might be, you know, you can borrow a kayak for, you know, um, the afternoon, mm -hmm. you know, get it back by, you know, by the end of the day, and that's three time credits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, and, and it's just mutually mm -hmm. agreed upon between the two people doing the exchange. Yeah. Um, I feel, um, I think the, uh, another story I would like to tell, if we have, there's this dog Benjamin that all the members know about. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we had a, we have a member who uh, had a, a little dog Benjamin and uh, was hospitalized and so needed, and was calling the ambulance to be hospitalized and didn't know what to do with her dog. Ah, and yeah, yeah. so called me and normally things don't happen real quick but mm -hmm. I do as the coordinator I have the power to send out an email to everybody uh -huh. and so I sent out an email saying you know we needed somebody to take care of this dog and within a half hour three people had responded Wow! and so I went down picked up the dog and you know we, we did some placing well it ended up she was in rehab after that so it became a much longer period mm -hmm. so I think there's been like five people in the exchange who have uh -huh. <laughs> taken care of this dog at various instances wow. and then returned him mm -hmm. you know the dog back and then when this happened uh, health wise the the issues didn't go away so this was repeated six months later mm -hmm. and so it has ended up that one of the five people who took the dog originally has now adopted the dog, oh, wow. huh. but brings the dog down mm -hmm. to visit, and the two people have formed a, a, a nice friendship relationship oh, yeah. in the process. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, you know, I mm -hmm. think that shows the power to build the that collective response to a situation, mm -hmm. um, and also um, the what can be offered to people who, um, you know, in terms of like the health field, mm -hmm. you know, the, that, that we, can, we can form a, a sort of a mm -hmm. network of people supporting each other, uh, right. which 
you know, I think is, is priceless. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if I go in, I can find on this list everything that everybody has to offer, every, everything they want, right? Right. What it is is it's the database is divided into categories. So you would have things like uh -huh. uh, arts and crafts, uh, health uh -huh. and wellness, uh, computer, uh, you know, and there's probably mm -hmm. about 50 categories. Oh, I yeah. mm -hmm. And each category has subsets under it so you can okay. try to get as as specific so that when you put an offer out there people know what you're what you're offering uh -huh. um, so for example um, uh, rides to the airport okay you know you uh, so there's transportation and then there's mm. short distance long distance you can determine how what the radius is that you would be willing to, yeah. to drive somebody mm -hmm. so once you've entered that as something you're willing to offer uh -huh. then somebody who needs to be taken to the airport could give you a call and say, are you available on this particular day to mm -hmm. do this? And you mm -hmm. would agree, who, who pays for the gas? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yeah. Do you get something for the mileage on your car? Mm -hmm. you know, your time is done through the exchange, but any yeah. expense you incur, you talk about how you're balancing that out with, yeah. the, with the party. Um, mm -hmm. So... There's, yes, once you're on there, you can explore the site and mm -hmm. just, you can t click on different buttons and see what, I wonder what's being offered under, you know, like yeah. hobbies or, um, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, yeah. Yeah, have we, you know, I can't remember. Um, I'll I go back to the newsletter. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask about the airport, because remember this, the, we had the, the exchange with that. We were talking about whether we could even call somebody who the person didn't want us uh, um, stay in long term parking. Yes. So they got a ride to to Logan. Yeah. And but is it possible like if somebody was in the exchange and bought you know in that area, could they use them? Um, because if you, if I'm getting a ride to the airport and you've offered to take me to the airport. But then I returned from my trip. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, well, maybe the, the agreement is for a round trip, right. and you know, I'll pick well, you up ten days later. But right, the, how does what, that work? What actually happened in the instant you're talking about is the if the trip to Boston is let's say three hours. Mm -hmm. um, the person paid six time credits because it was taking, dropping them off at the airport, and then and and the party returning home. So now they're gone, they're in Europe, they're spending three weeks. When they come back, it happened to be a different member of the exchange who drove to Boston, picked them up, and returned them for another right. yeah. probably six hours credit. Right. Um, and then the party going, traveling, paid for the gas, right. and maybe a little bit more for wear and tear on the car. So again, just highlighting the beauty of the exchange that it doesn't necessarily have to be the same person that right you have to do the exchange yeah. with and that's a perfect example right. of there was one party that brought them down and then another person in the exchange mm -hmm. did yeah. the picking up mm -hmm. um, yeah. and you think about making yeah. connections three hours in a car with somebody yeah, you're gonna yeah. do some chatting exactly yeah so yeah good point the the newsletter um, we are we are in the process we're hoping to put out our first edition uh, hmm. this coming week and it's uh, it's an email. It's it's through Mailchimp, mm -hmm. and uh, one of our our members uh, mm -hmm. met with me this past Wednesday to show me how to do it. Uh -huh. So that was a, a time exchange that was done for. It's not like I paid her to do that. Mm -hmm. The exchange gave both of us credit for doing something for the exchange. Uh -huh. um, so. Um, so we're hoping that'll come out, and that's something that will, it'll be emailed to members, but it's something mm -hmm. members can then forward to their friends um, <laughs> with the idea of spreading the word. And it will, yeah. um, the first one will talk about the annual meeting and introduce some people who are running for the board and invite other people. Um, mm -hmm. And it will be used as a tool to, en to encourage or give suggestions on exchanges that might happen, uh, sort of a timely kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, I, and the reason I wanted you okay. to, to bring it up was just to talk about the growth in this 
you know, what started off as this, you know, tiny little idea yeah, that right. and people were um, rallying around that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a mission and vision statement. We have governance. We have bylaws. We have a board. Um, it's really... There, it's been methodical in its process mm -hmm. and, um, you know, always um, looking for opportunities to be able to just spread the word about how wonderful this is and mm -hmm. the newsletter is just mm -hmm. another place for us to mm -hmm. be able to, again, spread that word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's part of why we wanted to be on this program right. is to, you know, to get the word out. The mm -hmm. the more members we are, the stronger the organization, yeah. the, sure. the more vibrant the exchanges. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I should mention that there there is a, um, a fee. Mm -hmm. um, we ask for a, a donation of $25 a year for members. However, mm -hmm. we don't want money to ever be the cause for somebody not joining. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the other opportunity is somebody can offer to do two hours of service for the exchange. Uh -huh. So, you know, that might be something, you know, like Michael mentioned about, you know, um, staffing an information booth, or maybe mm -hmm. you don't feel like you know the organization well enough to do that. Mm -hmm. It could be making some phone calls uh, that need to be made. It could be, um, you know, very, we don't have office space. We've tried to keep everything at a, at a very minimal yep. um cost uh, mm -hmm. so we don't we don't have office space we have a phone and we have a, um, a digital projector for our orientations and that's about uh -huh. all we own <laughs> and our sign and our sign yeah. yes we have our sign <laughs> and i should say when we first started uh -huh. um, we worked with the career development center and their de um, oh. communication and design oh, yeah. uh, barbara gabati was the teacher there and so two of their seniors took this on as a project Ah. And so they're the ones who developed our logo, uh -huh. and they printed this sign. We, you know, we paid for the, the materials and all, but it was sure. their project. Uh -huh. um, and they worked with us back and forth. You know, they'd submit mm -hmm. a design, and we would bring it to the board, and we'd say, oh, yeah, okay, we need this changed, and yeah. they would go back and, and alter it. It was a real good experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also made our sandwich board for us oh, yes. that we take with us wherever we go because we, uh -huh. we do things at different places so like our, our yeah. annual meeting will be at the second congregational church so mm -hmm. we'll have our little sign out oh yeah you know at that time but yeah so mm -hmm. um, I don't know what are we leaving out or I was wondering else? in that email this morning it said something about a new <clears throat> app that oh yes yeah. the um, the time ex the we're part of a larger organization, which right. is our world, mm -hmm. and they have recently released uh, an app so that you can do your time banking instead of on your computer. You could do oh. it on your iPhone or your Android or what are all those other devices that are out there. Oh, I see. And so they've they worked with I forget which university now they worked Penn with. Penn State. In, was it Penn State? Yeah. Okay, and uh, put that out there so. Um, they, the email is, is just encouraging people to do that, you know, download that app and uh -huh. to, as an incentive to do it is when you download it, then you send me an email that you've downloaded it uh -huh. and I give you a half time credit. Wow. Because they, they figure this is another way of spreading the, mm -hmm. you know, as people get more comfortable with it. It's, uh, your phone you always have with you and mm -hmm. a lot of people you know how often do you go like you and I probably don't go to our computers real often mm -hmm. you know uh, some people you know they, they're at their computer Chris is at her computer all day long so if something comes up sure. you right. know, she immediately I do take sees time it. To, to come to <laughs> events like this <laughs> <laughs> and we appreciate that <laughs> you know another important aspect that I think we, is ongoing as far as you know one of the goals of the organization is to reach out to younger people mm -hmm. um, you mm -hmm. know I, I'm not sure you know all the demographics but I know that when I w w I just happened to be an adult student in school at the time that I found out about it and we did get a couple of people a couple of students younger people um, you know who, who seemed interested in it but um, it's one of the things that you know when I get a chance I try to talk to to mm -hmm. you know students mm -hmm. there's a lot of college students in the area um, mm -hmm. who may be looking to do certain things to build up their resume mm -hmm. even, um, you know, for, oh, yeah. you know, for mm -hmm. school or whatever. 
and so I try to encourage them to check it out. You know, I still have my pamphlets that I hand out, and mm -hmm. I talk with people when I can about it. And um, you know, in fact, I talked with a couple of students from Southern Vermont College who are doing an internship at um, the organization I'm volunteering at, and I was talking with them about it, and they seemed very interested. And I gave them some pamphlets to bring up to the school. We'd like to see, you know, that because it's something that. You know, when, when you think about it, you know, when you start young at doing something like this, it really gives you that, that sense of community yeah. and, and encourages mm -hmm. our young people to, to, to know that you know, they have something that they can offer outside of, you know, just educational stuff. And, and, you know, and I know they're all looking to establish their careers and everything, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but we can help each other in our community um, now. You know, and mm -hmm. so um, I really enjoy talking with them, and I hope that you know they they um, you know follow through because it would be nice to see you know some youth mm -hmm. getting involved also. Mm -hmm. so I, there is an age uh, yeah. limit. Um, they have to be eighteen. At 18, least eighteen, yeah. but still, but college students. Yeah, generally college not. students. You yeah. know, that's it would be great for them mm -hmm. to experience that and get involved. And one, you know, one of the other benefits of that would be you know you're forming a connection in the community. You know, mm -hmm. well, it's not probably out of the question to think you're going to get an invitation to supper and you know those kinds of things right. that it sort of builds you know because they're yeah. you know uh, in southern Vermont they might be local residents but at Bennington College many of them are from out of state mm -hmm. and so that personal <coughs> connection I think could grow out of it there um, yeah. I, I'm not sure time wise but I, I think we probably ought to talk about where we are mm -hmm. and um, w w sort of our next step Okay, sure. Um, but did you have something you wanted to say? Well, first? I, just an aside because, okay. you know, Michael had to step down from the board because he's a full time student, and yet, you know, he's still <laughs> doing outreach mm -hmm. for, you know, for the time bank um, because I know it means that much to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and it is important. You know, I just, you know, I feel like, um, you know, I wouldn't be sitting here, obviously, if I didn't. You know, feel passionate about it. You know, mm -hmm. and um, and I like. And he mentioned people from Southern Vermont College. Actually, the two students I met, one was from, one's from L.A. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And you know, Southern Vermont's growing. I mean, oh, yeah. they, they yeah. yeah, they've increased their, yeah. their you know uh, intake of students. And so you know, the two people I met were happened to be out of state, right. and they uh -huh. were really mm -hmm. amazed at the concept. You know, uh -huh. so mm -hmm. it's funny you mentioned that. But um, there are a lot of local students too. I always right. I'm always down at CCV talking uh -huh. with the, with everyone, but. Thank you for that because it really does, you know, I feel good about the fact that I can still participate even though I couldn't, you know, and I might, you know, I don't know, I might come around and get back on the board one day. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, you we know. definitely were planning on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you are a great Well, ambassador. you know, Rosemary, you know what it is, is that the, the catch was that September meeting, you know, it was so, such great food there. <laughs> <laughs> and I think she let me know like two days before, she said, you, thinking about putting you on the board, what do you think? And then I started eating, and the next thing you know, she's like, Michael's on the board, you know, I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> You One know, of my good decisions. Yeah, she's, yeah she, she can <laughs> really in. I tell you, she's good. So uh, you were just talking about outreach. I think yeah. one of our our big focuses is going to be on outreach to uh, a more diverse community than we already mm -hmm. have, have approached. Uh -huh. so, um, and for that, because of that, everything I do right now, I, I, it's, I'm a volunteer. Mm -hmm. But we're in a position where it's grown enough and for it to, to keep expanding, we need somebody who's going to commit a certain amount of time a week. So, you uh -huh. know, I might put 10 or 12 hours a month into this. Uh -huh. um, and some months more than that. But, um, but we need somebody who's going to put probably 10 hours a week in it consistently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so our, our goal is to do some fundraising. So anybody out there in the audience who wants to support this, <laughs> the address is on there and you're welcome to send a donation. Um, <laughs> but we're trying to raise enough money to be able to hire a, um, a part-time coordinator mm -hmm. uh, who will um, focus a lot on outreach uh -huh. to, you know, like the college yeah. community, to, um, you know, a, we, we want to, uh, this initially came out of the poverty workshop at right. the rural development and we've the presentations we have done have been mostly to organizations or mm -hmm. uh, ads in the paper and yeah. a lot of groups that's n that they're not going to be reached that way so we're going right. to have to sort of brainstorm how do, how do we reach 
a, a whole different demographic than we've we've reached so far. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And we ha we have some ideas in terms of that, but it it would be real helpful to have somebody whose whose job it is to yeah. to do this. So we're we're going to be fundraising, and once we have the funds available, then we're going to be looking for somebody for that position. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking to to raise some money through grants, but you know as well as private donations. Mm -hmm. um, the issue we have found so far with grants is so many of them do not fund staff. They will fund oh, a project, really? or they will fund equipment, or that, but they don't. They don't pay salaries. Uh -huh. um, and so um, we have a few that we're working on. Matter of fact, Chris and I are going from here to uh, a luncheon meeting on that very topic. Really? Uh, yeah. Hmm. But um, so that's you know, sort of our future. I think. Um, is basically now that we we've been in in existence long enough to really be very confident that this works mm -hmm. you know we want to uh, to simply make it stronger yeah. you know and uh, you know Chris mentioned early on we were this small group of people I mean it was five people around the table that spent Whoa. probably six months just doing the foundation work to get this organized and uh -huh. get you know um, a name recognized by the state of Vermont, you know, all those kinds of mm -hmm. things that you don't even think about when you first brainstorm these <laughs> <Right>. ideas. <laughs> and, uh, and then people came on board, and it was a real act of faith mm -hmm. when they came on board because it was like, okay, now we've got 10 people, and there's a <laughs> handful of offers, and I don't, there's nothing there that really I need, you know, but they stayed in, they stayed with yeah. it. And mm -hmm. so uh, we really appreciate that act of faith that. Mm -hmm. people did, especially those who came on board the first year mm -hmm. and got it going. So. <clears throat> and I think a goal of any organization is just to, um, you know, sustainability. And mm -hmm. so I think that we are, we have matured enough that we're at that place where we're saying, okay, you know, we have some dedicated members, now let's reach for that next level. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and, and really have everybody in the community know when you say H4O, they, they're going to know what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and to that end, we have uh, watch for the uh, Green Mountain um, Express buses because oh, right, we're yeah. going to have a poster uh, oh. on those buses and uh, for the next month or so. And uh, we'll really? see. Hopefully that will also pique people's interest in just mm -hmm. contacting us and finding out more. Yeah. It was <laughs> still setting up tables at the uh, farmer's market? We have not this month that's that's on hold right now okay um, but mm -hmm. we still are doing the second Saturday of the month uh, orientations at the second Congress uh, not this at the Unitarian Universalist Church yeah mm -hmm. and uh, so has there ever, <coughs> ever been any attempt to have exchanges between groups there that's, a, good uh, that's <laughs> a very good question we have the capability of doing that and really? that's one of the things that huh. uh, we'll be talking about at the uh, annual meeting oh um, mm -hmm. any there's two different large time bank groups in the United States one is called time bank USA and one is mm -hmm. called our world and the ones that are in the our world and if you anybody in the audience who goes to that website that's on the, the brochure mm -hmm. uh, it's ourworld.org uh, the first thing you see is a map with these little pins oh, and yeah. it's all the different ones that are under their umbrella mm -hmm. and any of them that are under their umbrella have the option of opening up their exchange to exchanges between exchanges so for example huh. The, the man in Portland, he, who's the one who started this. And uh -huh. the reason we know about that offer is when we were previewing his software, he Skyped with us. Uh -huh. when we were deciding whether we wanted to go with this organization or not huh. at the beginning. And he said, if you're ever in Portland, you know, look me up well. and I'll take you out <laughs> sailing. Um, and, uh, but they have, so we can, we can open up our exchange so that if I were in Portland, Maine, mm -hmm. I could go onto their site and mm -hmm. see if I needed something while I was there or wanted to offer something there, wow. I could. Um, there is another uh, time bank in Vermont mm -hmm. that is under this umbrella. Uh, and I think there are five time banks in Vermont that are up and running. Some are, uh -huh. are with the older, the Time USA is more established. The uh, our world is a more recent organization. Hmm. Uh, 
-hmm. But yeah, so there is the possibility of doing that. Interesting. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. So I think you know I. I mean, I could talk about exchange. I could I could run through a list of all the things I've had done for me. Well, that'd you know, be inter interesting uh, to get more just, specific. You know, yeah. to get um, you know, I've I've had you know people who checked on my dog house at. I've mm -hmm. had you come and pick uh, fix uh, put tilings on the roof, shingle right. my roof, mm -hmm. um, and that was an interesting exchange because you were doing it through the exchange and your partner. Who helped you? Uh -huh. I paid him because right. he wasn't a member and wasn't interested in doing it through the exchange. Uh -huh. um, I had somebody else come and help me put the door on the shed. <laughs> oh, good, good. <laughs> I've had curtains altered. You know, uh -huh. I've uh, your bonsai. Plant. I have. I've had my bonsai. My a tree, sort of a bonsai. Uh, a member who was studying bonsai uh -huh. came and picked it. You know, took it out of its pot and trimmed it all nice and cut its roots and put it back in. I've enjoyed uh -huh. some of the wonderful soup. That was there, uh -huh. um, you know. I've I've helped somebody put shelves up. Uh, I've had. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, I can think of, of um, at one of our potlucks. I was sitting next to a member who had another member um, identify that she liked to organize and to mm -hmm. clean mm -hmm. up messes, mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. um, for lack of a better word, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. I. I remember, and she she reached out to this um, you know this person, and they cleaned this cluttered den mm -hmm. um, so that you know the person would feel m relieved and better about you know not having it be so so messy. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and she was she couldn't talk enough about mm -hmm. someone who had that identified that as a skill. skill. They like mm -hmm. to pick up messes. Uh -huh. They like yeah. to organize. Uh -huh. yeah. And, um, you know, that was a dream for her yeah. Yeah. to be able to reach out mm -hmm. to this individual. I don't know yeah. how many hours were exchanged, but uh -huh. it sounded yeah. like it was a, a significant project. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, Reiki. you know, a lot of body work. I've Reiki, oh, yeah. massages, yeah. you know, all that. Mm -hmm. um, the, um, when you were talking about group activities, it made me think of the, um, event where if somebody wanted to get their bicycle tuned up? Oh, yes. Um, oh. We, uh, one of our members, um, Bruce Learman, yeah. is uh, uh -huh. a real bike enthusiast. Right. And uh, right. we were going to ask him to do a workshop on, on bike uh, in, the sp in the spring. Uh -huh. And um, we were in the process of doing that, and he ended up doing a, a workshop for, I think it's called Vermont Motion or something, yes. sponsored yeah. it. So uh, we put it out through the exchange, and he had five, five people at that, and four of them were exchange members. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we've we've uh, we've also said that people could, you know, like offer a little mini class uh -huh. through the exchange, you know, um, hmm. uh, you know, on whatever skill you have that right. you wanted to just sort of introduce people to. Mm -hmm. So the what what can happen. You know, all we do as an organization is we facilitate the connections. The mm. things happen, you know, yeah. between the members. Yeah. Well, it certainly is an awesome organization, and I have to become more active myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. you know, we invite that, but it's been fine that you've been less active, too. Yeah. I mean, it's it's fully up to uh -huh. the person how much they want to be involved. But, yes, yeah. we'll, we'll help you uh, yeah. become more involved. Great. Well, thank you all very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you for having for us. Doing yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Ya quietas agua, un día me diré, no saben la tristeza que en mi alma dejaron aquellos ojos verdes que nunca oh. 